Yo, what's up, you guys? We are back with another video. Today, we're taking a look at maps to Saho signals for the month of June. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get straight into it, right? You guys obviously know this already. We've gone through this in a couple of times. Now, the first signal that we got over here was on June the 3rd was a buy on the NASDAQ. This buy kicked off very well. Then the market made a U-turn. But you can obviously see here, according to the take profit level over here, that is open, stop loss is provided. So that's one thing I always say. You know, when a trade's got a stop loss, it's always good. Uh, the take profit will tell you whether you've made 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. In this case, you can't really dictate whether or not people actually made 1% or 2%, 3%. And here you can see NAS in deep in the blues. And then we've got a blue screen going on over there. Uh, now, one thing I've always said, right? I've always been a fan of him. And I've always said that out of the whole RCG crew, right? He's one of the best that you can find among that crew in there, right? One thing he must just stop doing is to trade high impact news because he's not very good at trading the news. You shouldn't trade news at all. Next up, we move over to a buy on gold that was seen on June the 6th that we are going to go and look at very quickly. Uh, let's move there. Uh, here we go right now yeah you can see beautiful clear clean buy to the upside um, again you know suiting up in the blues uh, there we've got a screenshot blue screens and then yeah let's go to work nfp signal take your entries now and there you can just see base of the reactions things didn't look too well now what this means basically is you've just wiped away whatever profit they've might have potentially made because remember, high impact news will wipe away more than what no news would wipe away, right? Because of the volatility in the market that moves so fast and it moves by a lot of points at one, uh, you know, at one go, right? That's why I say you'll see every trade related to news has gone wrong. And that that's why I say you must just stay away from trading news events, right? And June the 10th, we got another buy on gold, which was this one over here. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of profit, right? We had a little bit of profit, then some drawdown. And then I believe we got another gold trade not too long ago, which was this one here, June the 11th, which was this one over here. This went very well. And then eventually moved actually quite well there further. But I know they would have not kept this trade uh, for a full day because of the signals that keeps coming through on this group, right? There's RCG uh all entries were precise topping 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 send results uh here we go again cpi you can see based of the reactions cpi couldn't get cooked so once again you go back and you wipe away the previous um trade that you've taken uh i hope you guys understand what i'm saying right so there we got another bound gold june the 13th uh which was where did I not plot this one? June the 13th at 9.47. Let's go there. Let's go. Let's go. June the 13th. 9.47. Which was yeah, Right? Should have been there. And that was a buy stop loss. 23.07.89. Uh, 23.07. Here we go. 3.8. Nine. There we go. Cool. So yeah, we got a trade. K okay, little bit of drawdown and then a little bit of profit. Stop got it. Then up. Then back down. Excuse me. Once again. Next was a sell on the Nasdaq June the thirteenth. Um, that we are gonna go and have a look at quickly. June the thirteenth. June the thirteenth. Here we go, right? So, yeah, we can see the first move was a clear move to the downside. Market went up, stop got triggered, came down, and then it left, right? It left, it left, it left, to left, to left. There you can see that short move that we were speaking about there. Um, and then after that, we went up once again. And clean entries, market just spiked down hard. Uh, what do we have here? There was a trade on AUD CAT also. Let's go there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, June the 17th, 1141. Um, here we go. Okay. 
this was a not that good of a trade market just went straight down that stop loss got triggered uh then there was a sell on gold which we are gonna go and take a look at very quickly on the 17th um here we go okay this sell also didn't do too well okay you can just see by the reactions right it's not it's, it's not rocket science um expecting a further drop um was that a signal stop loss will be set up as market giving bullies played out exactly okay that wasn't a signal okay june the 21st which was this one over here okay we had that move up down up and then gone right um uh, here we go and by there you can see again this one okay you can just see by you can just look at the reactions and that kind of will give you what it is that you are that you are looking for oh yeah i've been in bed a whole day yes um to tell you guys a story quickly so i bought some stuff to clean mold of my my fridge right on the side of the fridge so i spray that stuff on last night um uh, before i went to go sleep but i didn't account for the stuff being so strong yo that stuff was strong so this morning i woke up yo the headache had me like who uh -uh. and that's why i took some stuff i was sleeping and there's somebody recording this video now sleeping all day I feel better now. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and your mentor probably thought, I, I wish this guy could just get another headache. It's not going to happen. Any case, June the 24th. There we go. Yeah, we've got another trade. Some good blues in the blues over there. Um, and then June the 28th, morning blue team. And then what was this? June the 26th. Which year we had a trade, K, okay, nice profit, a little bit of drawdown, back into the profit. But again, I know these guys, they are not long term traders, right? Okay, this was July. You can see July didn't start that good as well. Any case, so I've said this before, you know, I'll say it again, you know, when, when it comes to trading, every month is not going to be a winning month. Um, and he's shown some very good success over the past couple of months that I have reviewed his signals. So again, you know, he's he's one of the top, top dogs in that league. In the RCG league, you know, he's one of the top dogs in there. And and, and I'll give him the credit for that. The, this wasn't the best review. Um, and there wasn't a lot of signals as we normally get it from him. But, you know, apart from that, you know, he still maintained that consistency over the time that, that his work was reviewed, right? Guys, that is it from my side. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for your time. And as always, cheers for years.